Self-care is the practice of actively maintaining a healthy relationship with yourself through a myriad of ways. Self-care is often displayed through the medium of actions that would make us feel better on a surface level. An online shopping spree, taking a few bites of your favorite ice cream, finally allowing yourself to buy that face soap that actually works really well, or maybe even booking a flight to a vacation. There's nothing wrong with these things. These are all really good ways to show yourself that you care about yourself. And while all of these can be ways to express that you have admiration and care for yourself, I think we often miss a very important form of self-care. I think the greatest way to show yourself that you care about yourself and that you have admiration for yourself is to develop more discipline within your life. The act of having discipline is difficult. It is not an easy thing or else everyone would be disciplined. A lot of us look at discipline as a form of punishment or something that you would have to force yourself through. But it's really all based on the lens in which you view it. In reality, having discipline is really having the integrity to go through with doing what you say that you are going to do. It's maintaining true, brutal honesty with yourself and sticking to your word. And you do this by setting goals, developing plans for those goals, and then seeing them through to the end to ensure that they actually get done. It's for your greater benefit. A lot of us are totally fine with committing to another person, but I feel like we're not fine with committing to ourselves. Discipline is committing to oneself undeniably. You don't let anyone or anything come between you and your goals, no matter how big or small. You stick to your guns and you do what you say you're going to do. When you make an oath that you keep to yourself every day, that is self-love. When you take the time to set up a schedule and stick to it, that is self-care. When you commit to yourself in the same way that you would commit to another person, that is self-love. When you're a baby, it is someone else's job to take care of you in order to ensure your survival. Someone must feed you, clothe you, bathe you, and put you to sleep. Someone is responsible for keeping you satisfied. If you are not taken care of, you will die of neglect. I feel that in our coming of age years in which we transition into adulthood, we allow ourselves to die of neglect. By not taking care of ourselves in regards to not giving ourselves the proper order and structure that we need to get by. Once you're grown, you are parenting yourself and a good parent tries to set you up for success by giving you structure and then try to make sure that you abide by the proper parameters to operate functionally and productively. It might have seemed like a pain if you had a parent that made you go to bed by 9.30 and made you eat vegetables or told you to take vitamins or made you make your bed in the morning, but you have to understand that was all out of love. It was to set you up for success. It was to help you to build the habit of having a routine. There's this feeling of euphoria that you get when you're finally out on your own. You feel like the world is wide open and you can do whatever you want. No one can stop you. You have the ultimate freedom, or at least that's what it feels like. I spent a lot of my 20s by operating in this mode of living. And I learned that when you live this way, you just wreck yourself. You need structure. You need discipline. It's how you will ever get anything done in your life. When you no longer have a parent or someone trying to tell you what to do, it's easy to begin trying to live life in the most pleasurable way possible. You can eat as much ice cream as you want. You can go to bed as late as you want. There's no limit to how long you can play your video game or how much binge watching you'll do on Netflix. You're in charge of your life and as long as you're not hurting anyone, what's the harm in it, right? But with no one to tell you a firm no to any activity, you will find yourself overindulging. It's the easiest way to procrastinate. There's only one way to ensure that you aren't going overboard, and that is discipline. Being disciplined in what you do is taking on the role of parenting yourself. You are now instructing yourself to keep up with yourself. It's how you show that you truly value yourself. It's how you establish that you're really worth a damn. Everything that you do for the greater benefit of yourself will not always be the most enjoyable, but it needs to get done. You gotta wipe that dust from behind the toilet. You gotta file your taxes. You gotta drink some water and eat some damn broccoli. It's good for you. How much time do we really spend with ourselves? How often are we actually asking ourselves what do we truly need? Not what do we want, but what do we need? And what are things that we need to do? How are we going to maintain order? How do we not fly off the handle? Most of us lack discipline and we kind of just flounder around in our everyday lives just getting by. If you develop discipline, you will no longer just get by. You will be effective and efficient. You will be productive. You will get things done. You will feel a sense of accomplishment. You will take pride in your routine and you will eventually be excited to maintain it. Discipline is freedom. How is it freedom? It's freedom of mind. 
You know exactly what you gotta do, so you just do it. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to wonder and ponder. You just do it because you know it needs to be done. And once you're disciplined enough to actually get things done, you will eventually have more free time than you think that you do. Suffer the pain of discipline or suffer the pain of regret. If you do not develop discipline and you give yourself too much lackadaisical freedom, you will never ever get anything done. You will always be behind, you will always be late, and you will always forget. If you truly love yourself, you will give yourself discipline because it will change your life for the better. I want you to suffer the pain of discipline because it will always be better than suffering the pain of regret. Hey, I wanna thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Are you trying to develop discipline in 2023? If you have a routine that you're following every day, I want you to write it down in the comments. Let everybody know what you're doing to be successful this year. Discipline is freedom. Discipline is self-love. Seriously, I really gotta tell you, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart because realistically, you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Much love. I hope to see you in the next one. It's your boy, Just Judah. Peace out.